Hello to those that are new, and hello to those that have watched before, and also have subscribed. Thanks to both groups for watching. I am Dave, and this is my life. What is this video about? This video is about food, and I will be eating a lovely Tim Hortons donut. It is the pumpkin, you can say it is glazed with pumpkin on it and in it. Alright, so we have bite number one. Okay. If I had to rate Tim Hortons pumpkin anything, this year of 2023, I would go in this order. Their pumpkin muffins are great. Their pumpkin donuts are good. And their pumpkin coffee is okay. I like the muffin more than the other two just because it's nicer. Uh, it's got better flavor than the other two. That's mostly why I put them in the order that I did. Also, due to the fact that the muffin has the whipped cream kind of cream cheese in the muffin, also makes it better, as well as the nuts of some kind, whatever they have on the outside of the sole, has the great texture of those too. Here's why the donut comes in number two. That is due only because it lacks the size, which I also taste a lot more of the pumpkin. However, I think they could be made better. I would like to see them do the pumpkin spice again, but not glazed. And I think that would make the donut good. It's already good. I think having it plain would make it somewhat better. Texture, it's a donut, so I'm not going to complain about that as much, or talk about it as much, uh, in this case for the donut. And finally, we're going to go on to their coffees, which have been lackluster over the last couple seasons of the pumpkin spice season. They are not good, and I'm not sure why. They're not as flavored as their food is for some reason. They definitely don't taste the pumpkin as I should and as I do with their food. I also think they lack the, not motivation, but I think they lack the try to find new things regarding their drinks. If you have a better variety of drinks, I think it would help their case in the drinks. I think because not just the lack of the trying regarding their drinks, I also believe their quality and their pumpkin spice drinks are not good. I don't know where the problem lies in the quality, and I don't know why they let it get the way and how far it's gone down in their drinks. I love Tim Hortons, but not for the pumpkin spice drinks. For me, I would want a really good creamy, smooth, smooth and uh, foamy drink, thick, but I'm
I'm not one for espresso. I don't like espresso. That's just with my stomach. And their flavor shots are and have been disgusting over the last, I'd say, handful of pumpkin spice seasons. I would like them to see to get back to where they were instead of flavor shots because for me to get a flavor shot they do five pumps I would need about eight pumps to freaking taste the uh, pumpkin spice flavoring six to eight and six doesn't even cut it the other part of the pumpkin spice is also the drinks. Um, it's not their price and not their size, but there's something missing in my opinion too. There's something missing with the flavor as well. I don't like their flavor as previously mentioned because I think there's something missing. It doesn't feel like a whole pumpkin spice s in their drinks as it does their food their muffins and their donuts and I think that's what I've been trying to get at the last couple of minutes the flavoring lacks the pumpkin I don't know how that's possible but it is in my opinion and that is this year's 2023 Pumpkin Spice Tim Hortons Review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also, keep enjoying your day, afternoon, and your evening. We are on the third box on the sun, the lovely planet Earth. If you are new, hello to those that. Hello to those bloopers. Hello.